Sam Bridges must brave a world utterly transformed by the Death Stranding. Carrying the disconnected remnants of our future in his hands, he embarks on a journey to reconnect the shattered world one step at a time. From legendary game creator Hideo Kojima comes an all-new, genre-defying experience for the PlayStation 4. Sam Bridges must brave a world utterly transformed by the Death Stranding. Carrying the disconnected remnants of our future in his hands, he embarks on a journey to reconnect the shattered world one step at a time. With spectral creatures plaguing the landscape, and humanity on the verge of a mass extinction, it's up to Sam to journey across the ravaged continent and save mankind from impending annihilation. What is the mystery of the Death Stranding? What will Sam discover on the road ahead? An unprecedented gameplay experience holds these answers and more. Starring Norman Reedus, Mads Mikkelsen, Leia Sadu, and Lindsay Wagner. Top reviews from the United States. Be patient with it through the first two chapters and you will be engaged through to the end. Like I stated below in my ongoing review, this is meant for those who are still eyeing this game and are still hesitant to buy. Like many reviewers have pointed out, this is a game that will not appeal to all. I, luckily, thoroughly enjoyed it. The story is slow and there is quite a boatload of exposition. Said exposition may be hindered by the way the narrative is edited. I, however, do not mind it as I have come to expect this not only from Kohima games but from many Japanese games and anime. The way of expressing ideas and concept doesn't always translate straightforward in English and that can be of concern for some. Having stated this, the story is really good, at least for me. Yes, it can feel clunky, but I still consider it a byproduct of keeping true to the Japanese way of expression and dubbing it. So things are pointed out to you two or three times in a cutscene, making it feel repetitive. But if you let this distract you and let it annoy you, you miss out on a rather well-told story that gets you at the end. When I got to the ending of the game, I had a sixth sense, the movie, moment. All of a sudden, I realized who Sam was, and the role of the other characters in the game. The scar Sam has. His ability to come back and essentially never die. The fact that Kohima even gave you sections of the game where it gave you an actual game over, and asked you to load from your last checkpoint was even a nice way of telling you, hey. You are not supposed to die here. Try again, was a nice touch, and one of many touches the game throws at you. If you are hell-bent on focusing on how boring the traversal is in this game then you are missing out. You take things at your pace and explore the world as you see fit. You can also blaze through it and get as much of the story out of the way. Either way, if you do so with an open mind and an appreciation for something that is different, you'll come out enjoying this. It's not a perfect game by any means but it is a five-fifths for me. It is worth the $60. You can, however, wait like I did and get it for cheaper. As of this writing this game was going for around $23 through PSN and $32 for the disc version here in Amazon. So, yeah, you can find it for cheap if you are still not convinced this game is worth full price of admission.